I'm Aaron Nagler. I'm here with Chris Burke for SI.com, breaking down the New York Jets draft. Five quick questions for you, Chris, starting with Mike McCagnan, the general manager. He's spoken about growing the offensive line from later round picks. Who might the Jets look at in the middle rounds to bolster their offensive line? A couple of names to keep in mind in round three, round four range, I think, are, are Joe Dahl from Washington State, Joe Haig, who was Carson Wentz's starting tackle at North Dakota State. Uh, another one that's probably could be pretty interesting for them is Spencer Drango, who's uh, from Baylor, played tackle there, probably kicks inside at the next level. So if you're into those mid rounds, you want someone that maybe isn't an obvious starter, but can help you at a few different spots. Uh, that's certainly a guy that could do that. With Ryan Fitzpatrick still on side, could the Jets surprise us and take or even trade up for a quarterback in the first round? I've read that Paxton Lynch's name has been connected to the Jets. Does he fit what Chan Gailey does on offense? If Gailey can get out of Ryan Fitzpatrick what he got from him, uh, I mean, I think he could do wonders for Lynch. And that's sort of the benefit of having Chan Gailey is he's got a creative offense. But yeah, I think he fits Lynch because he can he likes to spread it out a little bit someone who's uh, been able to groom some quarterbacks in the past, and Lynch is going to take some time. But I, I like that fit, especially if he slides to where the Jets already are in round one. Switching over to the defensive side, which area is a bigger need for this team, outside or inside linebacker? Uh, well, they're in, in trouble at inside linebacker, I think. But outside linebacker, to me, is the bigger need because A, they need a pass rusher, and B, I think they'd like to get Sheldon Richardson back on the line of scrimmage as much as possible instead of playing him essentially as an outside linebacker. So for me, I think they need that pass rusher. They need that outside edge presence so they can really get back to what they want up front. Speaking of up front, what do the Jets have to get back for Muhammad Wilkerson for Jets fans to feel good about it? I think they need to get a first round pick plus something else of decent value. You know, not not just a first and a throw in player or a first and a day three pick. I think they need to get a first and uh, something else in rounds one through three somewhere to feel decent about it. It said premier player. He's still only 26 years old. Let's say they can address the pass rush on the first day. Who is someone they can target on day two to help bolster, you know, the rush outside along the defensive front? A couple of guys who are sort of in that fringe day one, day two, uh, Kamale Correa from Boise State. Shalit Calhoun is a guy I really like out of Michigan State. Another favorite of mine in this class is Kyler Fackrell, who I think will probably be in that round two, round three range, and he can stand up, he can play in coverage, and he's got some room to develop as a pass rusher, but already shows some pretty good potential there. So I would keep an eye on him too if they want someone who can just come in and help on passing down. So there you go, Chris Burke breaking it down for us. Five quick questions on the New York Jets. I'm Aaron Nagler for SI.com.